Alrighty, out here in Montebello, looking at a house, well, an apartment today uh, for a client. Uh, it's right over here in this establishment. I'm gonna take you on the inside. Um, this is out here in, in Montebello, right at the edge, very close to the Periferico and right behind those towers over there is the Alta Brisa Mall. So it's like right on the edge. You come in through the, they have a driveway here, well, a door, gate. You come in and you got some, come into a covered parking and whatnot. And let me show you the gate. So this is what you roll in through. You get your own private parking and stuff like that. Um, this particular apartment is on the ground floor. And we're about to do that. Yeah. So we're coming in, walk straight into the living room, dining room, you know, so the sofa here is it, uncomfortable, but it's one of them things where if you want to buy your own sofa, you can to make it more comfortable, of course. Um, but that's when you first come in, that's what you're coming into. Uh, they got a little small table here for four. And here's the kitchen area in this rent you is including two types of internet services in case one go down you have a backup uh telmex and uh total play internet so there's a full bath in here they quickly give you that it's pretty spacious actually uh with a two-bedroom apartment and which goes over here to bedroom number one, which has a little small terrace off the back. And that's a queen size bed, or could be matrimony. Um, a lot of space in between, so the room is actually big. So you come out here and you have your own little private area. Come out here and do your little meditations and your then activities let me let you see all of that so this is all you real nice and quiet so coming back in you have a closet over there enclosed and some open space to hang your stuff uh, your hammock hooks over here on the wall Ceiling fan. Hey, see, and this is a private laundry room. If you want to use it, um, you can add a stackable laundromat. Now, the property also has like four washer dryers um, in here. Uh, what is this? Yeah. And what about you again? Have to put shelves underneath here? No, you're not doing anything really. Yeah. Your food and in here. It's just how it is. So I'm gonna take y'all out here and see the laundry area. So, come on through. And there's only like eight units out here. So this is all shared between eight units. Some folk might already have their own set up. Uh, I don't imagine they supply the cleaning detergents. <laughs> Maybe they do. And so the rent is uh, 11,500 pesos, uh, right about $600. Uh, 
and this is in a wealthy neighborhood, Monte Bello. So, you, so it's a little high because of that and the location. Um, but it's a good deal for what you're getting. It includes the internet, trash, water, and it also includes gas and the use of the laundry facilities as well. Um, furnished and not a bad deal. All right, y'all. So we are in the northern side of town. A lot of the other videos I showed you things uh, might have looked a little old and a little rusty, but this I just want to show you all the difference in some parts of town where it's much more manicured and clean and pristine. Um, you know, so that's what we're doing. We're going to look at an apartment out here in San Ramon um, for a client and hey take a look the roads are wider as you can see a lot more vegetation in some parts i mean look at this the manicured setup look at this house that's coming up you know what i mean really nice really 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 nice so it is like i said this area here is called monte mayo one of the wealthier side of the town um you got a little bit of everything out here close to everything restaurants shopping and the area we're going to now to look at the other apartment is an area called San Ramon, San Ramon, San Ramon. I can't remember if San Ramon had an E at the end, San Ramon. So as you can see here, buildings tend to be more newer, more modern. Um, I'm gonna have to bust through this traffic. All right, so I had to turn the camera off so I can get across that street. But you got a lot of stuff out here. This is the more modern side of town, the modern northern part of Merida. Um, you got movie theaters out here. You got shopping galore. This is a home design decoration, assess home accessory store over here on the right. But apartments all over the place. Um, beautiful, beautiful setup. Ain't that nice and pretty? Good, I'm glad he's turning. That way y'all can see a little more of the street. But like I said, this is the northern part of Medida. Actually, we're right now we are in San Ramon. So this is San Ramon, um, where she was saying the apartment we wanna look at two blocks away from all of this. So accessibility in this area would be great. Sidewalks, uh, probably the most walkable sidewalk without breaking your neck. But still prone to bro break your neck in any place out here with a sidewalk. <laughs> this is just a better sidewalk. <laughs> Coffee shop, tea shop over there. There's a little guitar shop. So those of y'all that are into music, um, not just a guitar shop, but a music shop. Go there and get drums, trumpets, pianos, um, guitars, amplifiers, all your stuff. You know, so you're not missing out on anything. It's, it's that much. So, you can see some more greenery out here. And this is very close to an area called Compestre. There's a craft beer shop I think we just passed. They're artisanal craft beers they make. They got a, a large variety of them. This guy here sells some exotic cars sometimes. He's, See a Lamborghini out here. Of course, they want me to turn here. Let me turn this off. All right, so we made our way down the side road. I'm assuming this thing recording. Yeah. Ah, right, there she go. All right, so let's go check this out. So this is more of a studio space here. Walk in. Walk straight into the kitchen. 
and there's a bathroom off here to the left. So let's go check this out. Kitchen. What's the price of this? Yeah. Eleven thousand. Okay, I actually like this. This is really nice. So those shut, those pools shut, right? Yeah. I have, I don't and yeah. so they slide. Okay, so you can close off the bedroom. Yeah. I like that. It is actually pretty spacious. Yeah. Let, this okay. So all that closes up, and that way you kind of close off the living room. And you have a TV, you can hang a TV up there. You got ceiling fans, two of them in here. A lot of window space. Window space. And y'all saw this area here, it closes off. Or oh, you can open it wide up. Open it back up. For me, this, just this one. So if y'all want all that space, it'll open all the way back up. And give you all that space if you don't mind showing your room. And there's a washing machine inside. Okay. Open that back up again. Put that all the way down. So, yeah. So, it opens all the way. And give you space. So, this is 11,000 pesos. And so, you had this little open window there. Cabinets, closets, and bathroom. And that was the door that come to the front, open up. Bathroom. And you said there was a washing machine? Yeah, yeah, here. Go to the bathroom. Go that way. Ah, okay. All right. Laundry room. Okay. Floors. I actually like the floor. What does? I, I think there's one oh, yeah. on the right now, but I haven't seen it because I saw it out of my eye and I go So yeah, so this is in San Ramon and that main street that you saw us on with all those stores, it's, it's like two blocks away from that. So we're gonna go look at one more Sitsa, Sitsa, Sitsa. All right, so now we're going to look at a third apartment out here in Sitsa, Sitsa, Sitsa. I'll put the name on the screen. <laughs> So this is a little bit outside the Petty Petty Go. Um, we were out with the lady looking at two houses. And even though this is might be a little far out, since we're out, we're like, let's go take a look at it. Sometimes, depending on the pocket that the house falls up in, it could possibly work. So sometimes you just gotta go look or look very detailed on the map and whatnot. So as you can see, pretty quiet laid back there is they are doing a lot of building out here dollar development going on out here in this area um a very pretty area uh matter of fact there's a church out here a bilingual uh, christian church called urban gospel um is out here and so we're about two minutes away from the destination this will kind of give you some of that country life shade However, see this is the air, this is the spot. They doing some construction next door. And as you can see, they're building new houses over there too. Um, so this is an apartment. 
uh, brand new, actually very nice. So I'm about to go on the inside and take a look at that. Again, if you need a sofa, you can add one, take whatever out of here and add it. I love these flows. Y'all can't, y'all don't get appreciation until you see these floors in person. A lot of cabinet space. That's a, that's a lot of cabinet space, man. <laughs> Air conditioning, windows, got windows here. Oh yeah, plenty of storage space. Yeah, kitchen nice. A good she can take that out for the sofa there. Hang a TV there. Oh, the TV in the room. Love the counter. It's a granite, concrete. Oh, yeah, you know that stone place is down the street here. Yep. Uh, TV in here. Base with a bed. Oh, this, this room is big. There's a lot of space in between the, the bed, so it's pretty spacious in here, y'all. Light up on the headboard that's built out of concrete. Bathroom. You got your little closet space, storage no, space. No, no, they can go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is cute. How much is it? $9,000. $9,000. A little outdoor. Private area off the back, nine thousand pesos. So that's like four fifty five hundred dollars. It includes the water bill, includes the internet, includes trash pickup and water. So one thing she got to do is pay the electric, etc. If you want to add a washing machine there, you can, etc. etc. This is nice. So this is what you get out here, and this is nine thousand pesos, y'all. Brand spanking new. This is a one bedroom. So as you can see, you're getting something brand new practically. Uh, a little more space, a lot more privacy. Nine thousand pesos. So it's a little further out. I need to look at it on a map. Um, and she's getting a brand new setup. And this is much spacious. This is nice, 9,000 pesos. But y'all have the router in here in the house, so maybe connect straight into the internet. Bar stools. Oh, you come on, you, you good. So that is that, y'all. So y'all got a chance to see something in the city. Y'all got a chance to see the comparison, the, what you get for inside of the perimeter, um, which and what you get outside the perimeter. This is outside, and like I said, this is brand new, furnished, um, includes all the services, electricity, 9,000 pesos for, for a one-bedroom. You can probably get a two bedroom for maybe 9,500 pesos, 10,000 pesos. And this is new, and this is in a more developed area. There's other parts of this town where you might be able to get something similar that's a little older for like 8,000 pesos or 7,000 pesos. If uh, you need help, uh, book a consultation and need some help. So I'm about to go back and see if we can negotiate a little bit. Because the price ain't always the price. All right, so as I wrap this up, um, I just want to kind of clarify some things that people ask about 
when it comes to these apartments. For example, a lot of folks say, hey, man, I didn't notice an oven um, in the house. Are ovens, do they come standard? Well, many houses will have complete stove with oven and all of that, but a lot of houses, because of the extreme heat here in Medina, they tend not to bake. So not having an oven is not unusual here. Um, it adds to the heat, because keep in mind, it's hot in the house. And another thing you gotta be mindful of, if you did find an oven and stove top and all of that stuff all in one, you many houses don't have that exhaust system, I guess, to help take some of that stuff out of the house. So um, if you do get a house with an oven, just be mindful of that. Um, what else? But yeah, a lot of places don't have ovens. So if you're looking for a place and you got somebody looking for you, 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 you like to bake, make sure you specify that there's a that you need an oven so that way you're not wasting time. Um, another thing you will see that, so some of the houses that we looked at, they're, they're inside the perimeter, and these particular ones just so happen to be um, in the wealthier sides of town. So the first house was in Montebello, the second house was up there in San Ramon, which is like five, six minutes away. Uh, both very, um, uh, well, high-end neighborhoods, well-to-do neighborhoods. Um, so you tend to spend a little more. Those same houses further out somewhere um, in some of the other areas that are not sought after by foreigners and stuff like that, you probably get the same thing um, for about 7,000 pesos, 8,000 pesos, like $400, in some cases 450. Uh, but these were great values because of the location. You know, literally a couple of blocks away, you can go to a bunch of restaurants, go to the market. Plus, whenever you order Uber, it's so close to everything, there's most likely gonna always be an Uber immediately in that area, so you get picked up. Um, and then, many of the shopping is very close by, so it goes from spending maybe like three to four dollars on an Uber ride, um, whereas the Uber ride from there in those locations might be like a dollar fifty um, to get you from there to the grocery store or from the grocery store back to your house. So if you want to go to the movies, dollar fifty, two dollars um, versus where I'm at, um, Uber. You know, say if you're on the outskirts, say like a Cholula, that same ride to a grocery store might, and you want to come into like to the mall, might end up being four dollars. Not a lot, but. You know, four dollars often versus a dollar fifty, or versus two dollars often. And keep in mind, if you're living there, you're gonna be doing that over the course of a year. So it adds up quick. So it might be a little more advantageous to spend a little more money on the on the rent, so you have a much lower um, transportation fee, transportation bill. And if you place it just right, you won't need to order Uber as often. You might be able to walk to the grocery store and then get all your stuff and then take an Uber back. So, and again, you might find that, hey, it might be cheaper for me to eat out every day because I got all these mom and pops riding around, right around me. I can go right over there and get me a full meal for $4.50 and be stuffed for the rest of the day versus, you know, going to the grocery store spending all that money. So it, it, you gotta weigh all, you gotta weigh it all. Weigh it all. Um, what else? So another thing you might notice in many apartments or homes, they might not have a lot of cabinet space in the kitchen or shelving space or, 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 or cabinets, closed off cabinets. Again, due to the area we're in, we're in a tropical area, so lots of humidity um, gets in the home from the heat and the humidity in which can cause mold. So a lot of the kitchens that you'll see will have open shelving space or they won't have any cabinets at all um, so that you're not, I guess, unconsciously just closing the cabinets and creating that environment for mold uh, or mildew to, to pester around. So those are just a little, the few things you wanna look for. Um, all of the areas that we looked at today, great areas for internet, um, the last house we just saw um, was a little further out. Having a car probably is going to be ideal if you're going to be out there. Um, just because it's a little further out, Uber, you won't have any issues getting Uber there, but it may take a little longer to catch Uber rides from there. You might have to wait. But 
as that particular side of town continue to grow and expand, um, you can expect the ride sharing services to start to become plentiful. So in a couple of years, that won't, that won't be an issue. So, you know, just be mindful of what you want. Um, uh, be mindful of what you want and stick to your, you know, know what your budget is and, and just kind of stick to the plan and you can find something. There's always something to be had. So, um, yeah, that's that. So if you need any help, if you need to book a consultation, book a consultation. If you need some relocation services, help you find a place. It's not, we know we're not the cheapest at all. Um, we offer a lot, we do a lot, and um, you know, if you find yourself in the bind, you know, we're going to be here from start to finish. No matter what goes on, um, we can assist you in whatever way. So you're not just buying or paying for services to find the house, but you got somebody who's with you here long term to help you out until you start to feel comfortable. You can lean on me, you can call me, you can, um, requ you know, if you need help any events are going on if we're doing anything and that i think you might be interested in i'll make sure uh, you get invited if there's people i think you can connect well with i'll try and you know mix you all up and uh, so you're not down here by yourself you know what i mean i see too many people come down here and kind of stick to themselves and get bored and they leave so don't want that for you so moveabroadandthrive.com